Take you now back to that breaking news um, that Arizona Senator John McCain has now been diagnosed uh, with a brain tumor. Uh, we brought you the tweet from Arizona Senator Jeff Flake moments ago. Um, Arizona Senator Flake tweeting out, just spoke to John McCain, tough diagnosis, but even tougher man. Senator Flake is on the phone with us right now. Senator, thanks for your time uh, tonight. I've got to ask you for your instant reaction when you got word uh, that John McCain has been diagnosed with brain cancer. Well, I actually got it from him. I, I called not knowing uh, what the diagnosis was and spoke to him for several minutes about what was going on in Washington and what he was missing here today and uh, talking about the health care bill and what uh, Arizona uh, needs out of that bill. And um, just in passing at the end of the conversation, I asked how he was doing today. And he mentioned, uh, well, we're doing okay now, but. Um, have some chemotherapy in the future, and that's when I knew that uh, the prognosis was was uh, was not not that good. So anyway, but he's upbeat and positive as he always is. Unbelievable! Just such a humble man to leave that for the end of your conversation. Um, clearly has given his life to service for all of us serving in our U.S. Senate since 1987 and uh, a party leader running as the 2008 presidential candidate. Um, what did he say? How is his family doing? How is he? You mentioned good spirits, but how, how's the family handling it and what, what's moving forward for them? Well, I spoke to Cindy briefly before I talked to John and she was, you know, upbeat as well. And you've seen the statement probably from Megan. It is a tight family. One thing you, you realize when you travel uh, with John uh, overseas or on the campaign trail running for president is uh, he loves nothing more than to get a call from one of his kids uh, or to talk to Cindy on the phone. And you can just tell the great uh, love they have uh, as a family and how close they are. And so I, I'm sure this is obviously tough for the family, but um, but they are positive and upbeat. Senator, um, you're the junior senator uh, from Arizona. Obviously, Senator John McCain is our senior senator. Uh, for you being the junior senator of Arizona, what has it been like working with Arizona S Senator John McCain? What's it been like working with McCain in the Senate uh, in Washington, D.C.? What has his guidance, what is his presence, what is his friendship? What has all of that meant to you? Well, I started here uh, in Washington in 1987 as an intern in the Senate. Mm. And uh, so I've, I've watched John McCain. Uh, he was already in the Senate at that time. And uh, he was here in the Senate uh, when I served in the House for 12 years, and I've had the great honor to serve with him. Um, I, I'm, I'm known by almost everybody as just the other senator from Arizona. <laughs> so <laughs> that's... Uh, that's what it's like when you serve with John McCain. But I can tell you, nobody has more respect uh, in the Senate than John McCain. When he speaks, people drop what they're doing and, li and they listen. And uh, we'll be doing, in the next couple of weeks, the uh, what's called the NDAA, the National Defense Authorization Act, which is John's bill. It's the authorization bill that, you know, we, we haven't done much legislation in the Senate uh, recently. But every year, John insists that we do that bill, and it's only because of his tenaciousness that we get it done, and because it, it gives instructions to the military and authorizes their program, something that really needs to be done, and he obviously, his heart is with the military. And so I, I tell you, nobody has more respect in the Senate than John McCain. Senator Flake, um, you know, we are all aware of what a damning, uh, unforgiving diagnosis this can be. Uh, Dr. Sanjay Gupta is saying the survival for malignant glioblastoma is 14 months with treatment, uh, the same type of uh, brain tumor as Ted Kennedy. Uh, but you were quick to tweet out your support saying what a fighter he is, and that's a message that is truly resonating with so many others. Um, politicians, uh, constituents who are really rallying behind Senator McCain saying, this is our fighter. Um, and that's kind of the, the message that you're hoping to share tonight. You bet. Well, anybody who knows his history uh, as a prisoner of war, uh, as a cancer survivor uh, with melanoma, and just to know what he's been through um, 
it's just, uh, you know, the only conclusion you can come to is he's going to fight this and fight this hard. And, and uh, we, I fully expect him to be back here doing the NDAA bill and participating in discussions on health care and taxes. And Senator, he's always uh, Senator McCain, known as the Maverick. That's been his mm -hmm. kind of go-to nickname for those in the Senate. Does it? I know we're living in a very partisan time in this country, um, but does it? I don't know. Does it lighten your heart just a bit um, to know that uh, Democrats uh, have been pouring their support out today since uh, the McCain diagnosis has, has the news has broke about him being diagnosed with a brain cancer? Does it? Does it make you feel good at all to hear that Democrats uh, showing their outpouring of support for uh, Mr. McCain? Well, it doesn't surprise me at all because uh, they, you know, they know that John uh, does what's good for the state of Arizona and the country. And, uh, you know, he's a proud Republican and a conservative, uh, but, boy, he, he works across the aisle uh, when he needs to and, and often. And so I, I'm not surprised at all that... Uh, our Democratic colleagues are, are praising him at this time. He, uh, I mean, and even you'll, you'll get praise out of the media, too, which, uh, <laughs> I mean, he's the only guy I know that can call somebody a little jerk, and, and it, it's always endearing, and, uh, and, and uh, you know, the, the media has a good relationship with him as well because he's always candid. Straight shooter and has been. Uh, Senator Jeff Flake, thank you so much for your perspective and sharing your personal uh, thoughts yeah. about uh, Senator John McCain's diagnosis. If you're just joining us uh, with brain cancer after his emergency surgery to remove a blood clot from the Mayo Clinic here in Phoenix, uh, Senator Flake, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule in Washington to you be bet. with us live tonight. Thank you. We appreciate thank it. You.